going on YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. I'm Keegan and this is the Deep Dive. Now today we've got a a bit of a special episode of the Deep Dive. Uh, this one isn't me going into uh, an internet comment thread and diving deep to see if I can find somebody's questions that were unanswered or less than totally answered as far as my opinion is concerned. This one's actually going to a specific video on YouTube. Uh, it's one that uh, some people have been telling me about, about a dude named Connor Murphy, and they've been rather vague about the total contents of this video and uh, I think that's that's with good reason uh, he's gonna be interviewing or speaking to a uh, social media influencer maybe a youtuber now that I know what the title of this video is that I'm gonna be watching and reacting to well here just 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 take a look yeah so um, this is uh, apparently a, a dude who had a reputation on YouTube before what he's doing now. This whole thing. And his reputation sort of centered around the idea of um, picking up chicks, I think, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong. Uh, point, point was, a lot of people thought he was a bit of a douche. And uh, then he kind of had a spiritual awakening and started um I need how do I say this without getting demonetized okay let's let's see how many ways I can figure out to say this without hopefully saying it the man's doing skeet shots the man's drinking his own glue he's ingesting his own sticky icky ew okay Trap worst. I I have to stop this game. That's disgusting. All right, you know what? We're gonna stop that one right there. Let's just let's just go back to the video here. But I think you get the point. Okay, this is gonna be a real wild ride through the galaxy for all of us here. So, well, not to your hats. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to another incredible video. I have um, an amazing guest. Uh, her name is Tracy Kiss. Tracy is into uh, fitness, mindfulness. She has like 7,000 or 700,000, sorry, <laughs> of followers on Instagram. So you should definitely go follow her. And it's very interesting. So after I pull up 700,000 people are following this woman, 700,000 people follow this lady, like unironically, the world is a broken place. I released the video about uh, me ingesting my own semen and the semen of another guy as well. Uh, this is oh. a very popular video, but a lot, of, a lot of people are talking about this video. Uh -huh. I was actually watching a live stream by this guy known as Vegan Gains. I don't know if you know who Vegan Gains yeah. is. Yeah. Really, no way. And he, yes. he actually stumbled across your videos. I think like a fan uh, sent him your videos or something like that. Okay. And, and I was like, wow. So this, this person knows the incredible benefits of this divine substance uh, well before I did. Uh, so I saw that you had videos about you ingesting semen for health benefits and, and even like rubbing it on your body. <laughs> what the? All right, we're back. I don't know. There's... I'm speechless. This is... This is so wild. What? All right, let's just... Let's just hear her out, okay? Let's let's hear her out. I don't think I can say that with a straight face, but we're gonna try. I'd love to hear yeah. your story about how you got how you got into it. Yeah, no, of course. Um, so I'm like literally intolerant of everything in life. Um, I have food intolerances. I have skin conditions. 
I was born with rosacea, which is a sensitive skin. It's very hot. I, before we continue, I think it's very fair to uh, open up and just lay out without question here just a, a very simple fact. Anecdotal evidence is the lowest form of evidence on the scale of believable shit. Like we're talking, I'm putting my hand around here just so you can see it. Just so you can get an idea as to how low it is. But it's somewhere deeper. Like you'd have to go all the apartments down below me, start digging, hit the earth's mantle, then keep going a bit. Low. A meta-analysis is going to be at the top, but yeah, anecdotal evidence, more than rock bottom. I was actually speaking to a lady after um, I had a facial peel, and she said to me, she was a skin specialist, that says, I know this is really strange, have you tried semen? Um, and I thought, like, you know, normally you kind of duck out the way, and you don't want to get it in your eyes, um, in a relationship. What? I have to know how we transitioned from pulling matrix moves on it to just like mm, yes. Like, where did we cross that line? I have to know how we've gotten to this point. If she doesn't provide a clear line from A to B on this one, I'm gonna be hella confused and kind of pissed off. But then I thought, well, I've never actually deliberately tried to put it on my face. Um, so, you know, she said there's no side effects unless you are allergic to it, uh, which is quite rare, but it does happen sometimes. Um, so give it a go, and if it helps, it helps. Otherwise, you could try egg whites. Um, so being vegan, um, you know, I didn't want to put an egg on my face. I... So the scale of severity is going egg whites up here washing your face with man juice here below under it yo the 2020s are just trying to be cruel and ridiculous right like it's not just me right like this is wild boy stuff right ha. i mean what is happening right how am I only 2 minutes and 51 seconds into a 24 minute video and I'm already reaching the limit of what I can tolerate? So I tried semen, it was amazing. I told people and they thought I was crazy. Where'd you get her first batch? Where'd you get her first batch? Seriously though, where'd you get her first batch? How did she get her first batch? Was she with, was she with a dude? And she was like, alright. <laughs> so we're gonna try something different today. I know usually I tell you none of this, but today... <laughs> or did she like do it in secret where she was just like oh no uh, we'll just go ahead and wipe this off don't worry about what I'm doing go about your business I feel like all I'm coming up with is questions zero answers and all the questions upset me deeply I um, but I mean it just worked so beautifully for me so why not tell your friends and family that you because it's gross dog that's why you don't tell your friends and family for the obvious reason that it's so gross and weird you found something that is free and natural and healthy um and in plentiful supply that's awesome I, i've noticed when i actually started ingesting it the benefits were so powerful I, yeah I, I have yet to actually try it on my face because of like i'm, I'm like whoa i'm getting so many benefits from ingesting. i, 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 yeah. I know i i'll probably i need to do some more <laughs> external semen right so yeah. i have so i have an abundance <laughs> because mine to me is like so sacred i like i must ingest yeah. it because of the, the energy that i get right normally guys you know after they'll go into what's called like a refractory period where they, you know and in i the yeah and i noticed that when ah. i actually ingest it that mm -hmm. dip in energy is just not there and i feel great so there's this interesting interesting group known as the borobites 
and they have a lot of different scriptures about Jesus and Mary Magdalene. So you can look up the Borobites and there's this scripture called the greater questions of Mary. And in that, in that scripture, Jesus, what was said to and then it ingest his semen with Mary Magdalene. And There's no bottom to this shit. There's just no bottom to this at all. We've gotten to some strength. It's less than five minutes into this. How are we going so weird so fast? How are we already talking about Jesus drinking? Like, dog, this is... And he, him and Mary just like, mm, get it, yeah. Like, hey, like... I I'm not sure I'm making it through this whole damn video. I just There's just too much. This might be a two part or something. I don't know if I can handle all of it in this one video. Yo, where the Christians at? Like <laughs> Y'all want to go in on him real quick? Because, like, I don't have the capacity for this. Nor have I studied enough to be able to handle this particular argument or idea. But deep in my soul, like, deep in the very core of who I am, I know this is trash knowledge. Garbage from a lunatic. For sure. It has to be. It has to be, right? Somebody, please, please go up in the comments and let me know that this is trash or confirm it's real if it is real. I mean, I'm a man of truth, so I'm more than happy to like accept it if that's the case, but this has to be garbage, right? Right? When you're looking at these ancient texts about what's true, what's not, who knows, but it was talking about the health benefits of semen that long ago. And so, yeah. Did he basically just say, yeah, when we're talking about these things, like it may be, may be real, maybe not, but let's operate immediately and unquestionably as if it totally is real and legitimate. <sighs> Have you noticed any of the benefits of um, like ingesting it as well? Oh, massively, massively. So um, I'm such an upbeat person. I'm like bouncing around, always really happy. Um, and people always say to me like, why are you so happy? I didn't realize that, you know, I would just naturally consume semen in a relationship in a loving manner. You know, so it's just something most I'm leaving it alone. Most couples probably do. Um, it's personal preference, you know, if you spit or swallow. So I didn't realize that I was doing anything different, that it was even affecting me in a positive way until I saw studies that actually said um, in relationships, even in pregnancy, women who have exposure to rather than using a condom have an elevated mood. So it's that endorphin that it releases that reduces stress and reduces depress uh, depression. And it's just so good for your immune system. Note that piece of information, that, that, that little scientific study. We're going to loop back on that later. And, you know, it's something like always crossing the road out of superstition, you know. Does it keep you safe or are you doing it because you're scared of danger? If you hadn't done it, would you have behaved the same way? Would you have felt the same way? I didn't realize that it was making such a big impact until I told people. And they say, well, you know, I don't do that. Um, and a few of my friends have actually now said that give me the option to spit or swallow. They do swallow. A hundred percent. A hundred and a hundred and fifty percent. The dudes, the dudes who these girls are with, without question, are like, yo, Tracy Kiss, she the goat. She the goat friend. You need to hang out with her all the time, girl. You need to go out. You going out with Tracy tonight? Cool. Do your thing. I want this for you. Have a great night. You need me to do the dishes so that you can get out the door faster. Let me take care of all the pots, all the pans, all the cups, all the cutlery, all the plates, everything. I'll wash the floors. Get out the house. Go, 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 go. 
because she out here flipping them girls from the spit to the swallow. <laughs> of course, you're not going to hear any blowback. Oh my god, blowback. Jesus. Oh, now that's even tainted. I don't want to speak words anymore. English is just a broken language now. Thank you very much, Connor Murphy. And they feel so much better for it. So, yeah. you know, it's there. Just talk about it. And when you know, um, you can reap the rewards of it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, there's a, there's a study. I'll probably pop it up here on the screen. But it's a study where, I mean, the... I think it was like some college females that were exposed to semen, they were less depressed, right? And they actually yeah. found components of- Hold up. So um, the the, um, the the researchers for this particular study were like, I'd like to do a study on what? Uh, it's it's gonna be on, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be on college girls. Um, being exposed exposed to the man juice and um, we, we want to note the effects fine they'll cherry pick some research or come up with some ideas that that fits their paradigm right they don't even want to yeah. think that this could be a possibility because they don't want to do that a, a lot of it's probably some li like homophobia you know so, uh, like yeah. deep-rooted homophobia like sadly like stuff like that where i'd like to make this abundantly clear right here right now absolutely no problems with members of the lgbtqia plus community Y'all are dope. Y'all are fire. I love all y'all. There are amazing people in there. I mean, just like any grouping, you have great people. And of course, there's probably going to be some bad people in there. I don't know, though, because I don't know every single one of you. My point being that I just don't have any problem with anybody just because of the people they love, who they choose to love, how they choose to love them. The issue I'm taking today has everything to do with individuals who have mass quantities of influence using said influence to push poorly researched, understudied, poorly thought up notions of health onto their unsuspecting followers, who then, without really questioning any of the crazy they're spouting, take it at face value and apply it to their lives. At best, much like what I hope is the case in this, you just have a bunch of happy boyfriends, a bunch of sticky girls, and no harm's really been done in the long run. But when it comes to other things like your skinny teas and uh, your other diet products, this can get dangerous. And there should be some measure of responsibility when it comes to the influencer. They need to take responsibility for the fact that they have as much influence as they do and as a result, hold themselves to the highest standard in order to make sure that what they say is verifiable, is legitimate, is, you know, well-researched and correct. The, the veracity of your statement should be scrutinized influencers are dangerous i mean straight up they just are because we have a system of individuals who can exact a great deal of sway on people across the globe and they don't have any credentials whatsoever to back any of the stuff they say they don't have to have any there's no certification process for, for any of this this power this unchecked power that they have and they can keep going about their business making money off of the large amounts of sway that they have over these people. It disgusts me, really. <sighs> you know, I mean, it really doesn't make any sense. You know, if, think about this, like, if there is some benefits, just potentially, just potentially, like, yeah. what, what, what? Why would you not want them? <laughs> I feel like that logic is super flawed. 
a lot like your arguments for why this is a thing that people should do. But um, how about we get to the how about we get to the debunking part, huh? Let's do that. Um, so to do my due diligence here, I conducted a number of uh, Google searches, which put me, I'm sure, on all the watch lists. I'm looking through uh, newsmedical.net specifically, if you're interested, and um, I'll, I'll even throw the references into the description below. So uh, if you'd like to check them out yourself, you're, fe you're feel free to. Um, but uh, in terms of the positive effects when it comes to pregnancy, it looks like that there's actually some evidence to support the possible usage of drinking the juice uh, to help uh, improve the chances of a safe pregnancy. Um, one study apparently showing that there's a possible application of drinking the juice to help alleviate the symptoms of morning sickness. Uh, apparently the researcher Gordon hypothesizes that pregnant women vomit as a result of their bodies rejecting genetic material in the tings as a foreign substance but that swallowing and ingesting the tings uh, of the baby's father can help build up an immunity um, ovulation hair health I mean there's some interesting stuff here um, but here's some reasons maybe you might not want to drink them <laughs> the juice can contain several viruses that may be transmitted via bodily fluids from an infected man. Some common examples of such sexually transmitted infections STIs, include the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, hepatitis B and C, herpes, and chlamydia. So, so that's a lot. Oh, you can, can, you can apparently possibly contract HPV by drinking. Uh, the juice. Awesome. Okay. So, there are some good reasons not to do it. But wait, I bet you I can find more. I'm looking at Healthline.com here. And um, one of their sections of their article on drinking the juice says, uh, Is it as protein rich as everyone says? Despite its reputation for being a rich source of protein, you would likely have to consume gallons of the juice to see any dietary health benefits. Gallons. Nah. Nah, bro. A 2002 study concluded by the State University of New York at Albany surveyed 293 college-age females to see if exposure to the juice without use of outside condoms worn on the affected their overall mood. I'm gonna have to bleep out that one word about the male genitalia, but hey, I think y'all get the picture. And also, it's the same as the thing, probably. Hey, right? However, this study should be taken with a grain of salt. Okay. Although the above study's findings leaned in favor of this stuff as an antidepressant, the National Health Service of the United Kingdom points out that engaging in sexual activity in general is linked to a decrease in depression. Okay. So what we're looking at is a poorly constructed study that didn't take into consideration the effects of the act that led to the actual end result in the first place. So they said, hey, it was the man juice that made them feel good. And this other study came through and went, did you forget that sex is a thing and is awesome? Because kind of think you did. As with any claims, more research is needed to validate the findings. So basically, this is some unconfirmed, unreplicated nonsense, essentially, until we can really see it replicated by somebody else. Are there any other health benefits? There's a whole section. They say, maybe. Similarly to how some studies have shown mood lifting and anxiety reducing benefits, the stuff uh, exposure could help with pregnancy health. A 2003 case controlled study found that females who were exposed to 
the juice for longer periods, both before and during pregnancy, were less likely to develop preeclampsia, a rare pregnancy complication. However, this is only one study, and more research is needed to support these findings. So possibly straight nonsense again. Really, we're coming out of here with a lot of reasons why maybe we want to second guess this whole thing. And Medical News Today basically saying the exact same thing. Notable study from 2002, link between exposure and mood. More studies are, or more research is needed uh, to confirm this. And they did not consider the whole act being uh, a possible cause for the end results of their study. Um, they also referenced a 2003 study with prolonged exposure leading to reduction of the risk of preeclampsia. However, more research is necessary to confirm the link. By no means is there any conclusive evidence to say that this is some sort of scientific marvel. So I got eight minutes into that video and have decided, you know what? I don't need any more of this. You don't need any more of this. Nobody needs any more of this. So we're just going to cut it there. I think really what we're trying to, what I'm trying to get at here and what I think we all need to keep in mind is the fact that we're living in a world that has basically just recently been beset by the influencer. And as a result, we don't really understand the repercussions of this particular moment in history. And I'm sure the ripples will be felt and will be long lasting for quite some time. But until we can get a handle on what exactly their purpose and place is in society, uh, we need to govern ourselves. And that's going to mean being very cautious and thinking through everything you encounter when it comes to all forms of social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, even me. If you're not thinking critically about all the content that's coming at you you're opening yourself up for someone to manipulate you and when you're open to manipulation that's when people can take advantage and start pushing weird things on you in some cases you know it might not be so harmful it might just be convincing you to rub the old uh sticky tack all over the uh, face there for health benefits that are totally unconfirmed but there's also more dangerous things out there too so yeah be careful out there because this is only going to get worse as time goes on much much worse because the 2020s have no chill and obviously don't they just don't want to let me live they don't want to let any of us just live anyhow that will do it for this video uh i hope you guys found that entertaining insightful interesting um what else could you have found out of that mind-blowing mind-boggling anyways if you enjoyed the content go ahead and throw a like on this video of course uh subscribe to the channel hit the bell for all future notifications of videos that we're going to be putting out uh, i'm just looking to constantly create content that you guys find interesting find fun find engaging uh and so i want i want you to be part of the galaxy so join up with us and you know come out here and shine with us every once in a while which is once a week at this particular point in time uh and yeah enjoy what we got going on here participate in some conversations with us i mean with me specifically i'm more than i love talking to you guys so throw some comments in the comment section ask questions about content you want to see in the future um and you know i'll be more than happy to chat it up with you guys down there uh so uh, since that does it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one and of course stay shining because the universe can only be a bright and beautiful place we all shine together. Peace.